What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel to another video. This feels weird because it honestly has been a while, but I'm finally back on my bullshit for a lot of different reasons. House to myself again, <laughs> which obviously I'm excited about. And today we're gonna do like a little self-care, restorative, rejuvenative Sunday vlog because I don't know the last time I filmed one of these and I just feel like today is gonna be a really lovely, nourishing, fun Sunday where we're kind of like checking off all the boxes. So I started off the day normal, good, lovely breakfast with some Jack Jones. Johnson and like John Mayer like just to set the vibe like that's been the tone for today So that's the trajectory we're on plucked my eyebrows Which I always feel like a new person when I do that and that was so long overdue Been tidying up my room and then I kind of want to tidy up my bathroom Um, and then I just have like little things like I want to get this laundry in because that's overdue I'm returning a package which I'm not gonna actually gonna ship this today But I just want to like prep it put it downstairs get it ready and then I want to get some work stuff done I really need to record a podcast <laughs> and then get some movement in all the good stuff okay so first let's start with my bathroom really i just want to like reorganize this because after a while this just ends up looking like this slash there ends up having stuff being like sprawled out all over here because i don't have a ton of countertop space Right, looking a lot better. Here's your reminder to clean out your brush. You're welcome. And then all of this trash came out from underneath my uh, sink. So all this is more organized a little bit. I feel so much better. Also, hashtag Osea. <laughs> It's really always bittersweet when Joe leaves, you know? All right, really need to film the podcast now, but I need a snack to fuel the brain, to fuel the words of wisdom, you know? I've been literally obsessed with these chomps like beef sticks. They also make turkey ones, but the ingredients are so good. It's like an easy 10 grams of protein. And I'm really highly considering getting a big box of these on Amazon. because I've just been buying them like individually at Whole Foods. And then I'm gonna finish this last fig because why not? Okay, I'm feeling so good. Check off the box, laundry. Also, oh, how that was so satisfying. Side note, this is a computer stand just from Amazon. I think I have it linked in my storefront. I'll double check that and it'll be linked in the description anyways. But this is life changing. You need to get one. Second of all though, oh yes, full size this thing. I always like to start my day with the to-do list always, especially when you're trying to have a productive self-care Sunday. So being able to just mm, click that little bubble and have a little green check mark come in, so much serotonin. So highly recommend a to-do list, except I'm so guilty <laughs> of getting distracted from the to-do list and doing other things that like are kind of can count as productive, but like weren't on my priority list for the day. Like cleaning the bathroom, like that wasn't necessarily a top priority, but I did it. So I'm adding that down and checking it off because it makes you feel good, okay? We need that positive momentum. Anyways, now I'm gonna sit down and outline the podcast episode before I record it. So that's kind of my process, always my creative process when it comes to the podcast epis. I basically just sit down, I have this like running Google Doc where I essentially have like the same outline that I'll keep like copying, like make a new copy of it for each episode and then fill everything in. So I kind of have a guideline of what I want to speak about, what I want the episode to be about obviously and have my clear talking points because it helps so much with helping me like have a direction and like arrive at an end point by the end of the episode. And today's episode is gonna be all about how like discipline is a form of self-love. Basically, I'm just gonna be speaking about the difference between kind of like soul-based discipline and ego-based discipline and kind of just the differences between the two and differences that I've experienced through previous years of my fitness journey when I was really rigid and all that sort of stuff. And then being on the other side when I was super in my spiritual era where I kind of was almost confused of what, you know, discipline meant and all that sort of stuff and kind of, kind of, I guess, sharing my own new perspective and where I 
where where my relationship sits with discipline i guess if you will so if that's interesting to you go check out episode 60 what episode number are we on 64 of the podcast lift it listens which i will also link the podcast youtube channel down below subscribe if you haven't already because i'm switching over all my podcast episodes to going on a whole separate channel just lift it listens just so that it's a little bit more organized you know what i'm saying everything's in one place Alright guys, Vibe has taken an unfortunate turn for the worst, gonna be honest. I've been trying to record that podcast episode for literally two hours. It's three o'clock now. <sighs> I need to take a deep breath because I'm frustrated, but this is just the harsh reality of content creating sometimes. The audio keeps getting like super conjumbled, like randomly at random parts of the episode, and I literally have already re-recorded the episode three times to try to fix it, and each time it just still happens, and I don't, I think it's because I think I think the port that I, it's gotta be the plug, the port that I have the mic plugged into must not be working correctly, but it's just so hard the way that I record my episodes to have to try to re-say it again, cause it like flows. I like hate having to redo it so many times and now I'm gonna have to sit down for the fourth time to try to do it. Ugh. Anyway, but I have this huge box from HP Labs of more supplements and I really want a protein shake so I want to open this. I'm going to film an unboxing and make a protein shake. So I was dealing with my breaking point. I'm also PMSing. And so, you know, when you just have like the smallest things like put you on your breaking point, that's kind of what I was, <laughs> I was at with filming the podcast and I knew I just needed to focus on a different task. So anyways, let's do a little mini haul because I know not all of you guys have TikTok. So I'm gonna show you guys here. They sent over the Big Mom proteins. I haven't ordered, this is from EHP Labs. Did I say that? I don't know. But I haven't put in an order from, for them in so long. I don't really know why I just haven't. But anyways, usually I will get like the half versions of these just because I have so many freaking tops in my cabinet cabinet but we have the full versions and these feel massive to me. So I re-upped on my all-time favorite flavors of protein powder, blueberry pie, and then chocolate milk and it's like the perfect for like a berry fruity flavor and then like a chocolatey one obviously. Freaking love these. These are my all-time favorite ones. Love blessed protein because it's gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, it's plant protein, no artificial colors or flavoring. So with that being said, it's not as sweet but I'm totally okay to like be able to go without those artificial flavorings when I can. This does not make me bloated at all, which is why I really love it. It doesn't upset my stomach. It's super smooth, blends really well, and it's such an easy way for me to get just quick lean protein in. And then I've been on my collagen grind, like nobody's business, which you guys, I just posted on my Instagram story today that I have new hair growth. I'm gonna put the picture here because I'm assuming that's new hair growth. I thought that if it sticks up straight, it's new hair growth. Okay, come for me for the comments if you think it's breakage. But anyways, I feel like I've been seeing new hair growth for sure, like in all along like the rib, up, like my um, hairline and all that sort of stuff. And my nails grow so freaking fast when I'm on my collagen. So I'm all about this. So I got two different versions. I have their OxyGlow. This is marine collagen, meaning it is coming from fish fish scales and there's also some added vitamins in here like vitamin C and stuff to help with proper absorption of the collagen and collagen production within the body. This I really like just because it's plain straight collagen. So this I will add into like a smoothie. I don't recommend drinking this alone, but if I do want like a sweet drink alone, then I will opt for this aqua collagen. So this is bovine collagen, meaning that it's coming from cows, but I love that this is from pasture raised bovine collagen, really important to me. So it has both type one and type three, and this is a flavored drink. So this does have artificial flavors and things like that. So this is in the flavor raspberry refresh. So this is something you can totally drink on your own, but um, the reason why collagen is so important is for healthier and stronger hair skin and nails and I like I said see such a big difference with that so I like having two different options on hand and then oxy shred 
You guys know this is my freaking vice. I have two versions here. This is their very traditional OxyShred version. This means that there is some caffeine in here. This is in my all time favorite flavor, passion fruit. It literally tastes like a fruit roll up. And then this is the exact same formula. However, this is just non stim meaning there's no added caffeine. And this is in the flavor Raspberry Kisses, which is also one of my all time favorites. I take OxyShred as a pre workout. As you guys know, this just helps with giving like an energy boost and helping with boosting performance, mood, all that sort of stuff. So when there is caffeine, that's that's kind of where some of that energy boost is coming from. But since this is a third out thermogenic, it's helping to actually convert your fat cells into ATP, which is our body's energy source. So that's kind of what I mean when I say a natural energy boost. So this is my favorite pre-workout ever, if you will, because it just has basically all the fun stuff that pre-workout has and none of the bad stuff. So I don't get any jitters. I don't get any anxious shakes. I don't get a nasty crash because there's just more of a moderate source of caffeine in the caffeinated version. And also it's depending more so on a natural source of caffeine. So I just get such a steady energy flow with OxyShred, which is why I love it. And so with that being said, I got the energy cans because they're so cute. Look at these. Are you kidding me? Like, you know, I, I want to hold these in the jam. You're telling me you don't want to hold these in the jam? Like, can't relate. So I got two flavors, Bahama Breeze, which is I think my all time favorite flavor. And then Guava Paradise, which is a, another very close second. I love the cans. These things are, these are the same formula as the traditional OxyShred. So there is caffeine in here, but they're just already pre-mixed and they're caffeinated and ready to grab and go. So I love keeping those in the fridge and I like to have that on light day. And then last but not least, I have this blessed healthy hair supplement here. Like I said, I've been on my hair grind for hair growth. So this is a little, little booster and it just has some really good ingredients to help with hair growth. So there's like kelp and biotin and things like that. So it just helps with hair health and hair growth. And we're here for the hair shine. You know what I'm saying? So if you're interested in getting any of these, which I just purchased, highly recommend. These are like some of my all time favorite supplements. Um, you could use code LIFTFIT10, as you guys know, if you wanna save some money and also if you wanna support me as a creator, it really goes a really long way. Um, and if you have any questions about any supplements, like if you're new to the gym or whatnot, or you want a supplement to help with a specific goal and help assist you in that way, just comment down below and I'll be happy to answer any questions. But I'm gonna make a protein shake because I've been out of this blueberry pie protein for so long and I want it. All right, I'm just gonna do a very basic smoothie because we don't have a lot of things here. So I'm just gonna use the blessed blueberry pride protein, some of the collagen, um, some frozen berries, and then some coconut water. And maybe actually I'll use this banana. Back to the filming studio. If this one doesn't work, I gave it my all, guys. <laughs> I truly can't make this up. Now the headphone ear padding just came off the headphone. I'm just truly surrendering to the uni's timeline that it has for me today because clearly, clearly it has its own timeline that it wants me to be operating on and spending three hours on the podcast. So I'm just gonna vibe for releasing that resistance. We're on air, here we go. All right, moment of truth for the pod consistency to create your dream life you just do you can't you can't cut that corner and i'm not I trying to say that i think like it's got to be better be the thing is is that it would randomly come in you know and if they blah 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 change but what i am saying with that consistency is that you need to be consistently showing up in some sense towards your goals every single day if you want to fruition i think that's kind of also this beautiful synergy of you know balancing your spirituality side with your fitness side because why is it doing that we're free flowing beings we are not robots we're not the same production capacity every single day like we change we have and flow which is totally fine you have better days worse days every case all for divine reason but when you have that soul-based discipline, it allows you to have the grace with yourself. What do we do? All right, so today hasn't been going as planned, all right, which is fine. We won the morning, all right? Not the afternoon, but we still have time to win the evening. I actually saw a TikTok one time that was like, they broke the day into four quarters. So it's like, you know, if you had a bad morning, like don't stress about it. You're not gonna let one corner like ruin the other three quarters left of the game. You know what I mean? Like don't need to accept defeat. So right now it's like, we're still chilling. We still, got, we still got another quarter. So we're gonna go to the gym and I've been playing racquetball and I love it. 
It's so fun because you don't really need that much like hand-eye coordination because you just gotta hit the back wall. It doesn't need to be like specific as tennis, but I love the process of tennis. So this I think is so much freaking fun. And when I say I've been playing racquetball, I'm on like day three, but it's fun. So we're gonna go do that. Fit check, all outfleet. This is just a little um, quarter zip or half zip that I love. This is in outfleet, like loose long sleeve that I love. Oh wait, these actually aren't um, outfleet. Then I'm just wearing Lululemon Align leggings because I may just stretch after. It's gonna be like a chill, fun day at the gym, you know? That's the thing when you're having a bad day, you can choose to continue energizing and like sitting in it and like thinking of all the things that you're upset about. Or you could just be like, you know what? I'm just gonna decide to have it bother me and focus on other things and be like, this is what it is. So I'm not gonna have it waste my present reality because I can't change it right now. And that's where I'm at. There we go. Um, first of all, it's daylight savings, or like today's the first day we turned the clocks back last night, and it's literally 7.25, and like, it's still light up, and it's kind of warm. Like, I didn't need a jacket, it was still 33 degrees, but it felt like 45 out for some reason. I can feel things are thawing outside, I'm hearing birds, and I'm so freaking excited. Anyways, that was so fun. That was exactly what I needed. I was honestly like before we started playing, I was like, this is either gonna <laughs> improve my mood or worse than that because I'm really not competitive in like team settings for some reason, but I'm competitive when it's one on one and like with myself. And I think hence why I like the gym and hence why I did well in track in high school because it was more so like one on one type vibe. Anyways, it improved my mood though. It was still so fun. I feel like I'm like getting better at it. Um, still only won one game, <laughs> but it just is just so fun. I really freaking love it and I really worked up like a sweat in there. Before we round out this vlog, I needed to share with you guys my current dessert obsessions because Hi, my name's Olivia, also known as LeFit, and I have a raging sweet tooth. These two I honestly have to blame Rachel for <laughs> because she put me on these. So let's start with these. These we got when we were in Tahiti and they like didn't really have them in the US. I didn't think they did at least, but now I think they just recently came because they're this like thing, okay, can't speak. There was like, it said new on the package. Don't know why that was so hard for me to say, but these are so freaking good. It's just like Nutella filled little cookies and Oh, they're literally to die for. These were also from Rachel. I tried this for the first time when I was in Hawaii like last month. They're basically frozen raspberries with white and dark chocolate around them. So good. And they also make these with strawberries. I think I saw bananas and then also blueberries. These are so good. Alright you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and hanging with me today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me, I promise. We're getting back in consistency. February was like a traveling month for me, I feel like, and we're getting back to it, okay? I'm sending you guys so much love, thank you for being patient with me, and hopefully see you in the next video. Peace out.